Thieves robbed four bands in the last month. The artists have been smaller bands ranging in genres like metal and hip-hop. Local media sources say the artists performed at St. Louis venues including Fubar, The Firebird, and BB's Jazz, Blues and Soups. Firebird employee Mike Crocello says the thefts are impacting the music scene. What we're starting to hear is agents saying, hey, I had a band come to me and say they heard about this and they don't want to come to St. Louis, or, you know, we have bands coming through, they're asking for additional security, or trying to be prepared. Brittany Busher is a former Lindenwood student who works in the music business. She says that bands' resistance to play in St. Louis will cause problems for the economic status. On an economic factor, we want, we want those people to come because it not only affects the venues, but it also affects like the type of work that I do as well. The latest robbery was on October 20th. Hip-hop artist Spos was eating at local St. Louis restaurant Pappy Smokehouse for lunch when the theft happened. A security guard in a nearby parking lot noticed the commotion by Spose's van, but did not think it was suspicious. Pappy Smokehouse worker Tom Augusti says the thief was quick, knowing what to take from the van. It must have been in and out in just a matter of minutes. You know, the van was in here for less than 25 minutes. The robber took about $30,000 worth of equipment from Spose. Spose told local media in a phone interview that St. Louis is dead to him and his fans can see him in Chicago. Crocello says that incoming bands need to be aware of the thefts. You know, if there's bands that are coming through that aren't aware of the problem, you have to inform them, you have to tell them, hey, you know, these guys are very, very focused and efficient and don't take anything for granted. The St. Louis police did not answer requests to interview about the issue. For LUTV News, I'm Nicola Muskrock.